This tutorial is all about compound shapes. Compound shapes is taking two, I have a circle and I have triangle. So we've been learning how to make some shapes, but what if I can want to combine them and make one big unionized shape? So I can select both of them. So I'm just taking my black arrow tool, my selection tool, and just clicking and dragging over both objects. And it all involves this compound shape tool up here at the top in this toolbar. And if I click on the first one, it all goes based off of what's on top. So if I click on this first one, I now have a brand new shape, but instead it, it kind of looks like a pot that I might hold flowers in. It's just, it is, it's tilted. So now I can add a flower coming out of that. I'm going to undo control Z control Z to get me back to my triangle, my circle. Um, so again, I'm going to select over top of it to use the same button, but this time, instead of making it one big unit, I'm going to look at what's underneath the menu. So I have the circle and the triangle. Let's check out what subtract does. So it takes the triangle out and it, and it leaves behind what's ref left of the circle. It's one shape at this point, not two separate shapes, not a circle and a triangle. It leaves behind one shape and it's all based again off of what's in the front. So the triangle was in the front, the triangles on top. And because it's on top, it subtracted that object. When I do subtract, it takes that top object off. When I did union, it's based off the top and it, and the color changed the top color changed to what the bottom was. Intersect leaves me the circle used to be there, the triangle used to be there, intersect leaves behind this little pie that's rounded now and it doesn't have a straight edge for the triangle because it's taking now the shape of the circle. And the last one is difference, we'll take off the this, it, what, what was left behind with intersect, it will now remove and leave everything else behind. So those are the four different types of compound shapes. They take a little bit of use, um, a practice getting used to, um, but it does make creating objects a little bit easier. So as you're creating and you might be tweaking um, anchor points and manipulating things, it might be easier to pair two shapes together and use one of these compound tools to create your object instead.